seven months pregnant, and I have to have you run my baby belly at some point in this interview. Okay, <laughs> last time this happened, Nickelodeon got someone who was fake pregnant and tried to like. I promise you, I'm not. I can promise you, I'm her birth. husband. That's oh, my baby. Oh, this is <laughs> This is Liam and Zane from. How you guys doing? Nice to meet you. And um, so here we are, and I do the morning show here. In have you decided in that? Do you know what it is? It's a girl. Have you decided a name? Girl. Not yet, but... but it was, must be tough, that, to decide a name. What's the female name of Zane or Liam? Liam, I'd say it was Liam. Uh, Zainab. Zainab? Zainab. Okay, well, that's different, I but I don't think we're going to go with that, because no. my Greek mom would probably be like, huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I'm sure you get that a lot. Not I like the name. I like the Zainab name Taylor. or Zainab. Taylor, Zainab. Taylor's pretty neutral, boy or girl. Taylor. Actually, my, my firstborn's going to be called. I don't have children. Taylor. Taylor. But you will. You will. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's the Roland Ryan Show here in Houston, Texas. We are the top 40 station. It's the biggest radio station in the state, and our show is pretty big. I have all these One Direction members that follow me on Twitter because they're nuts. And I started following you guys on Twitter, too, just to see how it goes. It doesn't seem to tweet too much, but I know the Heat got, I think, Niall the other day in Dallas. Okay. Have y'all been outside yet? Uh, I Not really, not loads. Not much, but it's it gets, it gets really warm. Do you want to sit down? You uh, sit. No, yeah, darling, it's fine. I can stand. I'm actually a little more comfortable. Are you sure? Because if you're not going to sit, let's all just stand and hang okay. out. Oh, we, we can all sit on here together? Yeah, you can yeah. sit together. No, because I'm going to look at you beautiful boys. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. So um, here we are with One Direction on the Roland Ryan Show, 104.1 KRBE. We have Zane. Hello. Hello. And Liam. Hello. Wow, so everyone is really crazy for you guys. And I know that this has all come about from X Factor. Now, there's a lot of your fans who already know the story. They know like the Bible. They can say it in their sleep. But there's a lot of people that will be listening to this interview that might not really understand how you guys got together. We or understand talking. how we talk, either. That's true. And that you have British accents. Yep. Yep. So, now, now clarify for me again. Did y'all individually audition for X Factor Britain and then Simon Cowell put y'all all together? Or what, who was like the first one? Or how did you guys Yeah, uh, No, we, we originally auditioned the solo artists for the uh, boys category. And then we got to the boot camp stage, which was like the final how many boys? 200. 200 boys. Mm -hmm. And then they split that to what? They split it to a smaller number and we didn't get through uh, to the judges. Yeah, which y'all had never met each other, right? I mean, no. y'all didn't know each other. <coughs> yeah. And then basically we were like five boys that were like of a similar age. And they just put us together and said, do we think it'd be better if you were a group? But we don't know who it was. It could have been Simon, could have been Nicole um, Scherzinger, or it could have been uh, Louis, who's also another judge on UK X Factor. So we don't really know. Okay. Now, there's a lot of uh, people who wonder, you know, when you want to go audition for a reality show or some kind of singing competition, has there ever been something, like, as you hear some of these stories, um, that I almost didn't make it to the audition, or I was the last person in, or I just went because my brother wanted to sing and they picked me. Any, any story like that for you guys, Zayn, or um, Liam, Zayn? A little bit. Didn't your mum make you go? Yeah, my mum made me go. I did, did she? Yeah, I didn't really want to go, even on the day of my audition. I was, like, too nervous, because mm -hmm. I'd never, like, really sang in front of, like, loads of people, so... Yeah, my mum pretty much dragged me along to the it, audition. And aren't you happy? Yeah, I'm very happy. I, love I, like, I like your t-shirt. Thank you. We made, we it, made it especially best. for you guys. Thank you. It says, I've got that one thing. 104.1 yes. <laughs> The other one, what do the other ones say, Leslie? Um, I'm going to be up all night with cool. Kara B. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of right. our fans are with us. So um, now that y'all have hit the hysteria, because that's exactly what's happening to you around this world, <laughs> if you could be anonymous, unfamous for one day, that's one of our Twitter questions, unfamous for one day, what would you do with that day? Mm. Would you go to the grocery store and just have somebody not scream in your ears? I'd just go. I'd just go back to where I'm from, Wolverhampton, and just like kind of hang out there for the day and just do whatever. Yeah, I same. Did, I'd just go to the local park and chill out with my friends. I think. think. And the thing is, as well, we haven't really been home now for a while, so you never know what the reaction's going to be like when you get back. Like whether it's going to be a little bit less or a little bit more. I mean, sometimes we get back and we get a little bit less reaction than we would out here, but sometimes we get back and there's loads. Like the one time, there was like 500 girls at the airport and they chased us around and we couldn't get out. Oh no, we, we got, we, Louis got his hoodie ripped off him, didn't he? Yeah, it was quite random. I mean, honestly, this is, um, it's, you're living, you're, you're in that phase where, you know, there's been all these people like the Beatles or there's been like New Kids on the Block or NSYNC. This has been the phase of, of the hysteria for these 17 year old girls who want to chase you. I mean, sometimes you want to pinch yourself, like, I cannot believe I'm that guy. Like, I can't, well, I can't get out of a cab without somebody trying to assault me. I was sat with him, with Harry last night, actually. We watched um, like a, a program on um, on Johnny Cash. Uh -huh. And I like, just saw like all this hysteria and stuff around him. And it, I was like, I just turned around to Harry and said, can you believe how big it's actually got? Yeah. I mean, he's got pretty big stuff. So. <laughs> what happened? Oh, oh hello. <laughs> I think we have a One Direction, a rogue One Directioner behind the chair. That's what we call him. 
come over here so we can talk to you, sir, without your shoes on. <laughs> and I, I can't, I can't quote. Hi. Hi, Louie. I'm Louie. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Arula. I'm coming uh, sabotaged. I know, I love it. And I'm glad you're here because these boys don't have the hair that you and, and uh, Niall have. And I actually wanted to ask you a question about your hair. Can I ask you about your hair? Is that boring? Is that boring for you? Here's my thing. Justin Bieber like had that hair that we all wanted to cut it off and see what happens. But how do you get the swoop? Like you guys have like a swoop. I think mine like naturally like grows like that. Mine does as well. Yeah. No, mine grows the opposite way. Y'all, yours grows. No, what? actually, it's the same way. That's okay. Is it left to right? Yours grows. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Is, so is it like some kind? Have you ever put it the other way? Just yeah, it looks terrible. Mine, mine actually doesn't look pretty work. much the same. Oh, so really? the Okay, God, I almost freaked out. I thought this had stopped. I was like, no! It's okay, we got tape. Um, so, Louie, we were talking to the boys about how crazy the hysteria is. If you could be unfamous for one day, what would you want to do with yourself when a girl's not screaming in your ear? Something illegal. Like what? I don't know. You still go to jail. You have a better chance of doing it illegal being famous, my friend. I don't think so. I don't think so. Have you heard of Lindsay Lohan? That girl should be in jail four times over. <laughs> so you want to do something illegal when you're uh, super famous. Okay, so tell me what y'all think about this United States tour so far. Not being home and seeing all the American fans versus the UK fans. Um, I think it's been absolutely amazing so far. I mean, we're coming up to the end of it now, sort of thing. But um, it's been absolutely incredible. We played some of our biggest audiences so far. I mean, last night we did nineteen thousand, which was our biggest audience we've done headlined as a band yet. So I think tonight's twenty-five. Do we know if it's twenty-five? Huh? Here, doesn't it feel like twenty-five? No. That line is packed. Um, it's like eighteen now, right? Oh man, I don't know, dude. We all have some huge audiences coming. Yeah, no. So it's been that's that's been like a, a massive thing. Like. Yesterday and today is the biggest ones, so it could be yeah. more. Could be yeah, more I'm pretty yeah. sure I didn't say it's because I wasn't 100 percent sure. But wasn't isn't that wasn't that the biggest you ever played in the headline? That's what I said. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. The thing is that um, I've been these girls have been tweeting me this morning. They've been here since 11 o'clock in the morning. I don't know if y'all are aware, but it's 105 degrees outside, which is why I went 30 degrees. outside for me and Graham. We have I don't know how they do it. Right. How do you live it? I don't know. I don't know how we live here, and I don't know how I'm doing this here, because it's <laughs> crazy. But I told those girls you need to hydrate, because the last thing you want is to pass out before your voice at the stage. Exactly. Have you had any girl, like, have you been singing one time and you saw the girls in the front, like, about to pass out because of heat or yeah, whatever? You've seen a few yourself? Yourself? Seen if you're actually, Not for a while, yeah. Actually, Not for a while. while. Yeah. Yeah. The crowd. And so have you had to save them, be like the saviors that day? Or like stop your concert and say, hey, hey, <laughs> this girl over here is getting... We've had to move time. people back because yeah. obviously they rush forward sometimes at certain gigs and they had to move them back, but never had to pull anybody out of the crowd. Maybe yeah, it's happened more like a sign in, remember? Like, yeah, and that, and one, and that interview in Toronto as well. Was, yeah. Or was it Toronto or Capital? I just don't remember. One of the two. But mm -hmm. there was an interview there and um, this girl was literally just getting crushed at the front. Like, it's quite dangerous sometimes, so everyone needs to... We don't make. I know. Okay, so whose birthday is September 13th? That's Niles. September 13th. Yeah, same. same and then who's August 29th? Is that yours, Zaid? August 29th. Oh, that's you. She knows loads. So, yeah. September 13th is my due date. That's why I knew that. And I was like, well, as this heat stays up, I'm going to have my birthday on Liam, my baby on Liam's birthday. So, <laughs> anyway, it was just really nice to come meet you guys. There's a thousand people that wish they were me right now. So I could just talk to you all day, but I'm sure they've got. Oh, they're not even stopping us. Let's just keep going. <laughs> so, um, so do you leave? Uh, do you leave? Do you have five more concert dates? And then do you have any downtime for yourself? Um, well, once we get out of the U.S. we get some time off, I think. Well, tell me what the girls that are listening to this uh, want to hear from you. If you could talk to, if you could talk to your, their fans face to face, would actually hear you and not scream because you know they had to calm it down. What's something you want them to know about you guys? Uh, you know what the thing is, I think the fans pretty much know everything now. They like, do. There's, there's not there's not much that they don't know. Well, there's that one thing they don't know, but we're holding that back. What's that? You can whisper it to me really quietly. I love you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. One thing we're holding back on, but there's yeah. something to know at least. They know that. Yeah. That's what oh, they yeah, want yeah. them to know. There is still something to I know. I know what you're talking about. But there yeah. is still something to know. How about you, Louis? Well, I'm kind of involved in this thing. Yeah, Louis's um, involved, magically. <laughs> I don't know. All right, well, boys, y'all were a pleasure. I love you guys, mm -hmm. and I said I'm having a cougar crush on One Direction. So let's go. You gotta give my belly a rub. George Clooney's done it. You've gotta do it now too. George okay. Clooney's done it. That is amazing. Yes, put your hand. Up. I have three One Directioners on my belly right now. Who's getting a picture of this? People. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Video. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, I gotta tweet this picture seriously because this is so funny.